Hello, welcome back. This is Bottom of the Cup showing you a replay of a tank I haven't shown before, the T-43. I thought I'd better show this uh, tank before I get rid of it. And I say get rid of it, but I kind of would be sad to get rid of it now, so I might I might hang on to it. I'm not sure yet. At first I really hated this tank, but the more I've started playing it, the more I've kind of gotten used to it, and it's it's not a bad tank. I seem to like play really consistently in this tank. It seems to perform consistently. It's a good little tank. So I don't know. But yeah, here's my first replay of this tank, and the T20 wants help, so I'm going to give him help. And I'm going to go into this uh, valley area, and use the good DPM of this tank. And that M4 is just running into death. We get our first kills in the space of a minute. And obviously there's a nasty ridge of tanks up there. Well, two, <laughs> two at the minute. <laughs> And I want to get up with this guy and uh, help him out early. Now what I usually like doing on when I'm in this area is getting past this gap here um, as quickly as I can. But at the minute I don't want to because I don't want to give him a clear shot into my side. And for some reason they're just sitting on the edge, just waiting to be shot. Not having much luck with the accuracy at the minute. But most of my shots are pretty snapped. But we got our second kill. Bounce off the ARL. Um, our team's winning 4 0 at the minute. Shots are coming in, I'm guessing from across, across there or something. I wouldn't say this is a particularly special replay, but it was a decent one. It was like everything went right. I just thought I'd put this one up. It just went quite smoothly. Now I don't want to fully aim that shot to make sure that I hit him. I'm I realised at the time that I would have been spotted then, but I wanted to just secure that kill, so I was willing to take the uh, take the hit there. Oh, and if you didn't notice, this tank has spades on the side. Look, spades. We can go digging. No spades on that side though. It's like a saw. But spades. Isn't that cool? And we find the other artillery. I just can't get the gun to crash and I have to get over that ridge. And what I was aiming for there was his track because I wanted to... I didn't think I would 
be able to kill him before someone else got a shot as well so I wanted to track him get the damage and get the tracking damage as well That's, that was my thinking at the time so this tank's quite quite nippy it's not the fastest it's no it's no comet I would definitely trade this in for a comet any day but like I said I just seem to have consistently good games in it and I don't know why it's just a solid little tank and I'm weaving here I just think I just want to get stuck in I got some health so I want to play with it we got the numbers advantage so chances are they're not gonna overrun me so I'm just having fun at the minute And that's it, that's the end of the match. So let's get to that replay screen. So here it is. Get rid of that. I keep pressing the the keyboard button to set up the record. Um blah blah. Anyway. Yeah. No no like a special match. Just a solid match. It just shows type of average game I tend to get in this thing. I mean obviously in a tier 9 match it doesn't tend to work out this way. You tend to struggle when you're coming up against an E75. Yeah we got a nice bit of base experience for that. Four kills. Solid little tank. That's the end of this replay. And I'll see you next time. Bye.